Good morning and welcome to the hearing of the Senate Committee on Finance. Uh, before I read my opening statement, may I uh, welcome and uh, acknowledge the presence of Senate President Frank Drilon and uh, one of the vice chairs of our committee, Senator Bamakino. We expect more senators to arrive. We also would like to acknowledge the presence of the heads of agencies present here today for the DPCC briefing. Deputy Governor Diwa Gunigundo of the Banco Central, Deputy Governor Vicente Aquino also of the BSP, Secretary uh, Florencio Abad of the Department of Budget and Management, Secretary Cesar Purisima of the Department of Finance, Commissioner Kim Jacinto Henares of the Bureau of Internal Revenue, Secretary Arsenio Balisacan of the NEDA. Uh, are we missing any? agencies, uh, everyone present here. Okay. As we open the discussions on the 2016 national budget in the Senate today, I would like to stress on the importance of the task laid before us. Your Committee on Finance will work closely with the country's economic and uh, finance managers and all our government agencies and consider our constituents many concerns to ensure that the national budget for next year will be socially inclusive, climate adaptive, and disaster resilient. This means that the budget will be responsive to the needs of the vulnerable sectors as it will fund programs that are for economic development and for the growth of every citizen. It will seek to create progressive communities that are resilient. It will be instrumental in reducing poverty, in promoting sustainability, and in preserving and promoting our cultural heritage. We seek to attune the national budget, hopefully with the cooperation of everyone with the Sustainable Development Goals, the SDGs, which will succeed the Millennium Development Goals when these expire by the end of this year. The SDGs aim to end poverty and hunger, improve health and education, make cities more sustainable, combat climate change, promote peace and justice for all, and protect the environment and biodiversity. While the SDGs are still to be finalized next month and are set to be adopted we already have to work together. We have to use these goals as framework as we incorporate them into our national development agenda by ensuring that government funds will be used to attain these targets. Finally, we will scrutinize the national budget of 2016 in a manner that is transparent and consultative. We will make sure that the resources of our government are used judiciously and are for the common good.